<laughs> well, well, I'm trying to talk sticks to Eliminator uh, because today's topic, we're going to talk about Blue Bible a little bit. So, um, Josh, just top level, explain to me what, what exactly is, what's blow by? So blow by is during the combustion process, either gas or diesel, it's the, um, it's the leakage of those gases above the top of the piston leaking through the rings down into the crankcase and causing pressure that goes into the crankcase. And then we either see it on a breather tube or, or so, some other place in the system as well on the backside. So if it, you're saying going getting past the rings, yep. right? What? Why would that happen in the first well, place? Well, there's going to always be some leakage. We don't get a hundred percent seal between the rings and the cylinder wall inside an engine. But the what can become an issue is when we get excessive leakage and blow by, and that is, um, it's what happens and it creates um unburned fuel in the oil so we're contaminating your, our oil in the engine okay. it's helping so we're losing some of the lubricity properties and making you know that oil's not going to last as long in the engine so excessive blow by can be caused by turbochargers because that's putting excess mm -hmm. pressure in the in the th in the engine as well so that's also an additional source but we just want to help monitor blow by you can actually do some blow by testing as well there's some tools out there they put pressure into the engine and there's some tools to test the percentage of leak through gotcha i know there's kind of like a homemade test i've seen before because like you said everyone's gonna have a little bit of blow by but i don't know if you've ever done this or, or maybe you guys have heard of this too but you take the, the oil fill cap off and you flip it upside down and you put it uh you know right there on the, the entryway and if it blows off that's like a sure sign of excessive blow by, right? That's usually a good way to check on like a used vehicle. If yeah. you're checking out a vehicle to say, hey, is this something that's this engine in decent shape? And a lot of people, like you say, do that. It's kind of like the, the garage uh, driveway quick, test, simple, but yeah. quick, simple test. Also, a lot of people sometimes can see it come out of the, mm. if you take the cap off completely and run the engine, you can All you right. can see it. And that's a, a sign as well as some excessive blow by. Gotcha. Okay. So you mentioned a couple of things, but what are, you know, just issue, if I got blow by, it, what are some of the issues I'm going to see? You know, what's what's that going to? How does that relate to, to um, what I feel when I'm driving? Or maybe I can't even feel it. Right? I don't maybe think you're really like going to feel it, but it's more, um, you know. Um, so in in our Huey systems, like the power stroke engines, those early power stroke engines, um, sometimes um, we would see that. Um, going through the injectors themselves getting some blow by through mm. uh causing that but a common uh, you might have cracked cracking piston rings or mm. um just um a lot of different things that i mean it could it could affect your turbo egr your yeah I mean. just just a lot of things that aren't real cheap to fix so you just want to monitor blow mm -hmm. by and see if you have an issue if you do you you know then a uh, good fix to that is stiction eliminator and part of the reason why that actually works is we're cleaning off the sludge and the varnish in the engine on the cylinder walls mm -hmm. and the piston rings themselves plus we've found that we're helped to lubricate those seals in the piston rings mm. and it gives a tighter more um, closer seal to the piston walls which is going to you know, just cut down that blow by. Now I know, I, I know, FR3, we've seen it can help swell some of those seals. Um, are we going to see the same thing with with stick eliminator? We are a little bit, but probably not to the same extent. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it, it's still got some of those high end group five esters gotcha. in there as well. That's going to do that. Okay, and, and so let's let's not forget. Um, if you're having accessible by some of the, the kind of general easy stuff to notice is power loss, maybe poor fuel economy, um, things like that, right? Yeah, and you also might notice it when you go to change your oil. If you mm. if you see fuel laying on top of your oil, there's a good possibility you got a blow by issue or some other sort of issue, and that's a good you know for the home mechanic to when you change your oil, you should really take a look at it and see if you can see if you're seeing shiny parts and that's a problem right. you know if i 
you know, can see fuel if it smells, like, you know, if it's a diesel and I can smell the diesel fuel through the oil. Yeah. You know, it could have an issue. And that's, that's kind of bad news. Right? Bad news, yeah. Um, because of fuel in the oil, the oil can't lubricate properly to prevent wear. Right. So let me ask this if, if I don't know if this correlates or not, but if I'm, if I'm losing oil, right? I, I'm eating oil and maybe I'm a quart low every, I don't know three, four weeks, um, would, would that be any indication of blow-by or is that not related? Not really related to blow-by, it's an oil consumption issue. Okay. So, um, because your oil is actually on the other side of the ring. So at the top end of the engine where we're getting the blow-by from is where the gas or the fuel's coming in. So if it's gas or diesel coming in on top of the piston, burning, driving that piston down to make the power, right. the blow by is coming past the rings on the piston into the crankcase where your oil's at. I got you. Okay. Now, if you have excessive, excessive force, it could be blowing some past the the breather tube and out, but that would be an extreme case That'd of blow-by. Pretty intense. Okay. Now, we see that on, like, high-performance engine, like a pulling engine. If you've yeah. ever seen it, like, looks like green snot at the end of the track, at the end of the run, it's actually coming out of the crankcase valve, breather valves, mm. usually onto hoses, and it towards the lays on the track, and you'll see a little bit, little... A lot of it's usually greenish color. It looks yeah. like uh, just because of the oil contents. Right. High zinc oil technically has a little green look to it. So you're saying add stiction eliminator. It's going to help with blow by. It's going to clean some of that out and, and lubricate, which is all going to help, right? Right. Uh, say I do that, and I don't want the issue to come back, or or I want to limit that from being such a, a, an issue, right? Um, is there anything I can do as far as my just my oil is concerned? Well, always run a good quality oil. So, like uh, even our Green Diamond's a really good Group Three oil. Mm -hmm. You know, we either have the semi synthetic, it's got a little bit of Group Two in it, or a full synthetic, or jump up to our Group Four PAO, which is the Blue Diamond or Black Diamond line. And you know, just run a high quality oil like that's going to help. You know, make sure that you're not building up that sludge to begin with. Right, because that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem is the oil breakdown. It's causing that issue. So if you're running a higher quality oil, in theory, you're going to have lower operating temperatures. It's not going to break down, so you're going to be preventing all that. Correct. And then like a group four PAO, like the Blue Diamond, doesn't shear. And that's where a lot of that that cooked on varnish comes from, is from the actual shearing of the oil as it breaks down over time. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I mean... Makes sense to me. Um, I'm trying to think of some more questions that people may have, and I don't really have any. Um, is there any other common questions we get, you know, surrounding blow by, or, or maybe in pertaining to just, our just products? Just the main thing is, how do I? I got blow by. What can I do? Well, one thing you can do is definitely run stiction eliminator to help prevent it. You can also run stiction eliminator or the FR3. Both are going to help with the the sludge buildup and preventing that from happening. Is there anything, say say I do a blow by, excessive blow by, and I, and I, I run stiction eliminator and it doesn't fix the problem. Is there anything outside of lubrication mechanically that could cause? Well, absolutely. So like I said, we could have those cracked rings. Oh, right, right. So it could be a mechanical issue. So if you're not seeing a, any immediate change with stiction eliminator, you're probably more of a mechanical issue and it's just not gonna be something that we can hmm. fix with the lubricant. And I'll say we understand that type of stuff. That's why we offer money back guarantee, right? So if it doesn't work. It is. It's exactly why we have that money back guarantee. We know that some cases a lubricant cannot fix the issue you have. Mm -hmm. It could be mechanical, electrical, whatever it might be. Maybe just outside the control of what we can put a big enough influence on too from a lubrication standpoint. Yeah.